Keith, someone's walking into your office. You're sitting down, you're the first person to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the first thing that um, you recommend they do? Very first thing that I always, always ask, are you, do you have a, a mortgage broker that you're working with or a, a loan officer that you're working with? And the answer, if the answer is no, we say this is, that's the first thing you need to do is talk to a loan officer. Mm -hmm. Find one that you like. Interview a couple. Mm -hmm. Find one that you like. Mm -hmm. And stick with that one person once you feel comfortable with that person. That's the number one thing that they have to do. And then I ask them what type of house they like and what they want to get to. Uh, we never, we never, we very rarely do we go out with buyers before we have them come and sit down in our office because mm -hmm. it's a waste of time. Right. Well, for you and for the buyer. Right. For everybody involved, it's a, it's really a waste of time. We could show the same. We could show somebody if we just took them out for a drive four mm -hmm. or five times. If we just sat down with them, we could keep on showing them houses forever. We have to sit down with them, write everything down on a piece of paper, find out exactly what they want, mm -hmm. and then take away the things that aren't quite as important to them. Right and then take them outside. But they first they have to get in touch with the loan officer, and I want to make sure I get in touch with that loan officer too so that I know that I'm not kicking, turning my wheels for no reason. So why is it that most people don't do that? I, I mean, obviously, I think that's uh, most people, just like anything, uh, they, they look for what they want first, and then, then they see if they can afford it. <laughs> I mean, why is that? Right. Well, Ruben, I think it's... I think it's uh, uh, it's just putting the cart before the horse, and it's just been the way that things people have been doing business for a long time, and it's breaking that habit of of doing it a little bit different and and doing it the right way, and and back it up a little bit and following the right procedures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, Keith. You're welcome.